What's up guys, it's your boy Butter. And um, today I will be showing you guys how I messed up uh, some bags and how I'll be fixing them again. I had this for a customer, um, she needed uh, the front uh, printed on and the back printed on. So I tried to heat press it on. I should have looked up and research how hot can this thing get um, before I tried to press it. Um, so yeah, completely messed it up. She had two of them and she had a photo shoot yesterday. So I had to hurry up. I, I corrected the first one, um, got the first one done for it. And I'm like, I'll, I'll Amazon ship them two days here. I'm gonna get it for you next day. She had no issues, she had no problems. Um, so yeah, got the new ones in today. So I'll be showing you guys how I did it. So you guys won't make the same mistake I did. First things first is why I unzip the bag all the way. I put, I have one of these t-shirt folds plastic ones um i'll leave a link in the description where i got these from uh they were like two for 18 i believe so i got though i got that in the center of this i also wrapped around one of these teflon sheets around inside of it and i moved it all the way up top here so when i press down um it's not going to stick to the material because that's what it did yesterday it stuck so first you have your bag then you want to take your first teflon sheet and place it all the way in your bag. Make sure it's smooth out fully in and out in your bag. Once you get that, you take your t-shirt fold, put it right over the top of the Teflon sheet inside all the way up top. You wanna make sure your layers is not touching at all. You wanna make sure they're protect, protected fully. Then you take your second Teflon sheet, same thing as you did with the first, smooth it out on the inside, make sure it's touching each uh, corner inside from the top to the bottom I was doing this on my lap so you guys can't see it and that's it when I feed it on and I'm also going to press put one of these Teflon sheets on top because I'll put a picture up right here and show you guys how it looked when I pressed without this. It stuck to the top of the heat brush, which I had to clean it all off. Um, so this is how I'm gonna set it up. Again, I'm pressing the front center right here and then the back center right here. Now this area you can't press on, but you can use the sticker vinyl for this if you need to you know, press on this. So you can use the sticker vinyl for this because th if you try to heat this up, the plastic on the side will start uh, to curl up and you don't want that. You want a nice clean look on the front. Another thing that I hate is that this is a layered design. So I have to press it twice. And this type of material, you only want to press down for a few seconds. I have my heat press set on um, 330, but I'm about to turn it down to maybe like two, two, 280, because that's too hot. As you can see, I normally I have my heat press on 330, but I wanted to bring the heat down a little bit to 272. And I also have this protective pillow pad, uh, heat press pillow on the bottom of it so it doesn't get stuck. Um, so yeah, we're about to press it and see what happens. So as you guys can see, that came out good. Now I'm gonna apply the second layer on top, press it on, then do the back. Also, guys, I made sure I put one of these Teflon sheets on top as well. I'm going to have a whole bunch of these. Um, and then, as you can see, pulls right off perfectly. That looks good. Now you have your custom hair bags that you can do yourself heat pressed. Um, also, if you guys want me to do your heat bags for you, my uh, information will be in the link in the description below. So, yeah. Now I'm going to press the back and show you guys how to do the back too. She know about that. The reason that we here, the reasons that we feel our feelings. Guys, I'm back. 
So um, again, layered the first one. Um, as you can see, it's gonna be a swoop coming in the middle with the pink and then the pink at the bottom. Uh, this is gonna how it looks. I'll come through just like that. So yeah, so um, layer it first. You're gonna press this for about six to seven seconds. Let it up, peel the vinyl off, and then apply your second logo. Um, lay it down for the uh, remaining 20 seconds. Um, pull it off and you're done. Oh, also, since it has this uh, plastic on the bottom of it that I'm gonna be pressing, I'm gonna put an extra Teflon sheet down um, when I press on it. Cause like I said, I don't want that wrinkling to happen. And then slap one of these on here. Make sure it touches the entire bag. Don't let this thing press down on any part of the bag because it will burn, as you guys saw. So remember, like I said, about six seconds, nothing major. Now we have a finished product. This is how it looks. This is the custom hair bag. So now you can get these bags blank and custom yourself if you have a Cricut and heat press or contact me and I'll do them for you.